front where it says aims real big. Well, hello everybody from Polly's Island, South Carolina. Holy heck, do I like this beach a lot. This is my first time here. I've never been here before. Mary brought me down here to check this out for a good old beach day. Around about two hour drive from her home, so this isn't bad at all. I mean, look how wide these beaches are. They're insane. I mean, this has got to be one of the widest beaches I've ever seen. There's the boardwalks there to the homes. And then up there, the beach goes all the way up there. The water does come in some. And then it goes out there. The beach does. you got a little pool here, a sandbar. We're going to go out there, by the way, too. This beach is so wide. Then up there, it comes back in. But still, the beach is super wide in a number of places. And... Oh, my goodness. When I say it's just heavenly out here today, it is just heaven. Temperature is in the upper 80s. Great day for swimming. <laughs> but the funny thing is the ocean is like bath water. It got to be in the 80s too or maybe close to 90 for all I know. Because uh, when I went out there, I feel like the, the water was warmer than the air. But it wasn't bad. And then you do find some cool spots out there. And as a matter of fact, when I walked out there a little bit ago to go swim... Because of how clear the water is, because you can see how calm it is, too. We're not getting really big waves. They're crashing out there, and it's just really calm here. I saw a grouper in ankle-deep water, or not ankle-deep, but like knee-deep water. There was a grouper swimming around out here, and when he saw me, he took off. So that was cool as heck. But this water feels fantastic. So clear, and the waves just roll in so gently. And for the next couple of minutes, I'm going to let you enjoy the sounds of the waves and the beach and not my annoying voice. And yes, that's my Bucky's Cabana up there. And this phone is waterproof, so don't worry. I know what I'm doing. this well, look at that cool little shell I think I'm gonna take that home look at that little guy nobody's home huh no oh wait there is somebody home <laughs> well we're just gonna go ahead and put you back in the water buddy sorry to bother you <laughs> There's a crab in there. When I picked that up, I literally did not know there was somebody living in that shell. So, sorry little crab friend. <laughs> he kind of tucked himself in there, but that's okay. Anyway, I'll be quiet again and let you enjoy the beach as we walk to the sandbar and out here in the water. Little fish. I don't know if you can see it, there's a little fish right there. I 
I don't know where he went. Seeing little fish around here. Unbelievable how calm this water is here. We got this little sandbar here. I keep seeing little fish swimming all around too. It's pretty cool. You can tell this goes underwater at high tide. Pretty certain it's low tide right now. Because you can see the tide line on the beach where we have our stuff. Our Bucky's Cabana. Our drinks. Our music. We have Cornhole too. The Cornhole game I bought at the Christmas tree shops in Erie, PA. That's Sarah. We're going to leave Sarah alone. Sarah, you're fine. <laughs> or is that Hank? I don't know. I get them all mixed up. Look at this. Oh, it's a little chewed up. Oh, well. Yeah, it's just so unreal to me how calm the ocean is. There's not much wind at all, so it's not kicking up very many waves. And for the waves that does kick up, they're just so far and few between. I mean, they're breaking out there, but even when you're out in the water like I already was, they're not more than a couple of feet high. As a matter of fact, I think the waves at Lake Erie from Presque Isle weekend were higher because of the amount of wind. So this is a pretty interesting change and one that I'm not upset about at all. I'm seeing a seashell here. See if this is worth picking up. That's well, a little chewed up. Pretty cool though. There's a white one here too. I don't know if that's broken or not. Looks like it is. Is that a clam shell? Oh wow, I like the color of that one. I'm gonna take these home. A couple little seashells. There's my buddy. I got, no, I got a friend over there. This is so cool. I like the little pull that it creates. Now the water, it does work its way around. It makes like a big loop. And there's where it comes back in. Now we're walking over to this other sandbar. It's kind of split off from that one a little bit. You got a little bit of water trickling through here. Good opportunity to find some seashells. I, I see some laying around here. Not very many good ones, but I got a pair that you saw me pick up that I think make good little souvenirs to go home for my first time here. Just like how you see the ripples in the water from it working through. Oh, look at this one. 
Ooh, look at that little clam shell there. Take that too. Put that up on the wall at home with my other nautical slash sea things. It's beautiful out here. It's amazing how nice this can be. Oh, look at this, guys. There's a little crab. Oh, he tucked himself in a shell. Look, there he goes. Look at that. Look how cool that is. <laughs> Hi, little friend. I'm not going to hurt you. You're okay, buddy. You're okay. Oh, there's another one. Oh, that's too cool. They're just babies. There's actually a lot of these little crabs out here. Look, there's one in that shell you see moving. He was just fighting that one in that shell there. Oh my gosh, this is too cool. This is too cool. I don't even want to walk out here because I don't want to accidentally step on one. I know they'll move, but I would feel bad stepping on one. This is the coolest thing. Look, there's a, there's a real tiny one right here, too. I know it's probably hard to see on camera, but this water's so crystal clear, too. There's one right there. <laughs> I'm loving this. Now, you got to remember, I live in the city, so I don't get to see this that often. So to see these little crabs running around in those shells, that's one of the coolest things. And like I said, I would feel bad accidentally stepping on one of them. So that's why I don't even want to walk in that water. But that, that was so cool watching them in their little shells just crawling around. And I see more as I look around here, too. There's one right there. This water's so calm, too. They're just they're loving it right now. Very cool. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Here's a real big one here. I don't know if anybody's home or not. Oh, I thought I saw a leg. Oh, yeah, there is somebody home. <laughs> He's in there like, what happened? Look at that. Look how cool that is. I won't bother you, buddy. I'm afraid to go out here. Everywhere I look, you probably can't see it on camera, but everywhere I look, I see these little crabs just running around. There's so many. There's two more right here. There's there's three of them right there. They're, they're literally everywhere. This is the coolest thing. You just see them crawling everywhere. Look at this one here. Tucked himself inside their shell. <laughs> Saw me, got scared. Sorry, buddy. Oh, is that cool? I don't even know if I want to touch it. Cause there's, is there a crab in there? I think there was. Yep, there's a crab in there. Sorry, buddy. Oh, that's cool as heck. They're just enjoying life. I've never seen so many crabs like that, just running around in the water. There's a shell here. Don't know if that's good or not. That's nah, all chewed up. That's okay. What a magnificent day. I feel like a child out here with these little crabs running around. Okay. Even cooler than the crab. I mean, they're equally as cool as these little hermit crabs going around. Check this out. I just found a starfish. Still alive, and there's a crab hanging out with it. The crab's actually trying to eat it. <laughs> Look at that. Little starfish. Look at the starfish went away from it. Starfish is like, no, no, no. Get off of me. Oh, that starfish is moving. The crab's like, no, buddy, no, 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 I'm hungry. 
There, leave him alone. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. His little, his little body coming up. And for the record, the starfish is very much alive. He's crawling, or she's crawling, away. I actually admittedly tried to pick it up to see if it was alive, in fact, and it was moving in my hand. Now, I only held it out of the water for just a few seconds, and then I put it right back. Because I wasn't sure, but now I am. So, I'm sorry, little buddy. I'll let you go. I'm just going to give you a little pet. <laughs> that is the coolest thing. And look, there's a little crab. This is just so, this is so cool to me. Bye, starfish friend and crab friends. Well, I'm heading back over to where our site is. The canopy is way down there now, where that red thing is on the beach. I don't even know if you can see it on camera. It's way down there, though, somewhere. And that's where I have to head to to have a nice cold drink. Sit in the shade. Trying not to step on these hermit crabs as I walk across this channel here. <laughs> How cool was that, seeing the crabs and the starfish? And I don't know if you could see the little fish swimming around, but I did. Very cool. I like this a lot. This is a lot of fun. As we work our way back, I'll give you the sights of the beach again. As I try to not step on hermit crabs or starfish, I would feel pretty bad. This is so awesome. A couple more crabs right here. They're all tucked in their shell. Well, that one started running away. Oh, there's a big one there. Where'd you go, bud? There you are. There's a big one right there. All right, buddy, I'll leave you alone. Very cool day out here at the beach, that's for sure. Beautiful out here. So open and scenic here too. <laughs> Look at the dogs having a good time. They're just having a good old time running all around playing. They're all very friendly dogs too. <laughs> just having a good old day at the beach. Look how happy that one is. <laughs> Look, his friend's coming to chase after him. Like, hey, what are you doing? Let's play. <laughs> so cool. Well, here it is a few hours later. Had some fun quality time enjoying the beach. Even if it was just for a few hours. Here at Polly's Island. Garden City straight up that way as is Myrtle Beach. I could get used to this. You know, I love my Outer Banks and that's where I'd love to live besides Texas. I'm so torn. I love both places to death. But I could get used to this too. The tide is coming in. The little pool that we had out here is now filled in. And you know, as long as I was doing the video, I didn't notice the abandoned sailboat over here. So let's go check that out. On second thought, maybe it's not abandoned. I don't think it is. But I wouldn't be leaving it on the beach. Not even on the dunes. I know it's probably a pain in the butt to take back in, but I wouldn't be leaving it here. Sure, no one might take it, but... 
putting it on the beach and keeping it here where the wildlife calls us home. Sea turtles do come up here and lay eggs. They do. You see where the seaweed is, how high up the water can come. I don't know. I wouldn't be leaving that there personally. Anyway, what a great evening here. What a great way to end this little beach day here out at Polly's Island. So glad I was able to bring you guys along. See the waves breaking way out there in the distance. That's how shallow this water is. There's a jetty there. whether these are residential homes or vacation homes, I don't know. But we have a bunch over here. What a great day. I needed this like crazy. And believe me, I love Discover Presque Isle. I love Erie. I needed a day like this one like you wouldn't believe. Thank you, Mary, for making this happen. And thank you guys for sitting here, watching this video, hanging out with us. It's been a beautiful day here at the beach. Really glad you guys could hang out with us. I'm so happy to finally have seen this place for the first time and experience my first time here with you. Alright everybody, I am going to wrap up this video. We're getting ready to leave. It's starting to get dark. It's about 8.30 and we want to go to Garden City, which is right up that way behind me, up north, and go to this awesome restaurant called Creek Rats. Really like their food and our hush puppies. Oh, they're so good. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Take care and stay awesome. Bye-bye.